What's up, guys? It's Boy Ren here today with some more news about Remix Bout, and we got those all, all, all three tag teams revealed. Well, one we knew, right? One we knew that was a Brexon. Those Brexon Charizard is gonna appear right over here. Bam! Like this one we knew, right? Art looks great, but I think we don't need another Charizard, and 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 the format, even the post rotation, like enough is enough right so just to remind you guys what charizard does is uh, 270 hp shiny flare 180 damage you might search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand then you shuffle the deck right so that's three uh, fire type and one colorless and the gx crimson flame pillar gx attach five basic energy cards from your discard pile to your pokemon in any way you like if you have at least one extra energy attached to it your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. So, yeah, that's uh, that's this card. You know, we talked about him, so I'm not gonna you know, like really put an effort uh, again. So that's basically it, right? I think it's not the best card in the world. You know, definitely Welder will help it. There's not gonna be Kiawe. So, I mean, is this tactic gonna be played? Um, it loses to Rashizar. Let's be honest, you know. So. Uh, it's like a pass from bot. Like the tactics that are really interesting are the ones that are coming. And the first one is dum -dum, Venusaur and Snivy uh, GX. And it is a grass type, right? So that is quite interesting, right? A nice, com again, another Venusaur. I know, I know, another Venusaur. But it is an interesting, interesting tactic, right? Again, remix about July 5th in Japan. So uh, 270 HP. Again, weak to burn, uh, weak to fire type. Might lose to Rashizard again. That's that might be the worst matchup for him. But let's see. Uh, let's see the ability. All right, it's called Shining Vein. And if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach a Grass Energy from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may choose one of your opponent benched Pokemon and switch it with their active Pokemon. And now that's a Guzma. I mean. Grass type just got you know a lot better and honestly this is this looks great. This looks really nice and like the fact that it has to be active it's kind of a bummer. But still a great 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 tag team uh, just for the ability. But let's see the attacks. We got one grass and a triple colorless forest dump 160. And also the uh, GX move which is three colorless so, uh, Solar Blast GX that like, does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's great, but if this Pokemon has at least two additional energies attached to it, heal all damage from each of your Pokemon. That is quite interesting. So, yeah, I think that this might be you know this might be a tag team that will definitely see uh, some play. Definitely you know will put grass types again somewhere on the radar maybe you no know, like upper tier two um i don't want to i don't want to say tier tier one but maybe you no know, upper tier two maybe even like who knows right maybe you know it's going to be as consistent as you know we all think but then we go to the third one right the third third uh new tag team and bam this is blastoise and poi poly so we got blastoise again Mm, but with Poi Pole, and again, no ability on this uh, Pokemon, 270 HP, again, so they all, you know, share the same uh, HP amount. Uh, let's see uh, the attacks. We have two Water type and one Curless for Splash Maker. 150 damage, you may attach up to three Water type energies from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. That is quite cool. Then heal 50 damage for each of those Pokemon. So you see, we got a team of healing and attaching a lot of energy again. So this attack might, you know, might make water type decks valid again post rotation. Because again, they are losing a lot, right? They are losing a lot, especially you know, like Aqua Patches, all of that. So with Kyogre, with with, with Blastoise and Piplup, that might be, you know, again a valid, valid type to play. And then we have a GX attack, two water type, one color less. It's called Bubble Launcher. 100 plus damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. If you have at least three more energy, this attack does 150 more damage. So it basically does 250. Not enough to one hit KO the tax Because remember, no choice band, no Kukui. So that is a little bit of a bummer. I hoped you know it, at least it would be able to one hit KO those three, like the, one of those three tag teams. But it's still you know it's still okay. Uh, 
enough to me. So definitely post rotation uh, tag teams are going to be interesting. Uh, it's quite nice to know where your type, you know, your favorite type, or the type that your play goes, right? So you kind of can prepare yourself uh, for, for, for the future. And do I think, you know, like, water type is going to be great again? Well, it might be. Honestly, it might be. Um, the tag team is okay. It's not a bad tag team. So, guys, what do you think about those three tag teams? What is your uh, your opinion on that? Also, don't forget to check out me live on Twitch as Raven Cold and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more news and more decks. And also, yeah, there's the Twitch channel. And also down there, down there below, you have a five percent discount any code you would purchase on Professor Oak. They are as cheap as on eBay, honestly. So yeah, I want to hear your opinion on those three tags. I think they are quite interesting, quite nice, and definitely the format, you know, like post rotation is going to be really, really interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Raven loves ya.